like I'm in grade four again. I'm 21 and I'm still doing summer school. Who thought? Back in first year. Yes, I'm going back to school. Just not the year or program or way I thought I'd be. I fell asleep dreaming of this yesterday. It's kind of like writing an entire 5,000 word essay and then realizing you were writing about a completely different subject. It's like making a cake with salt instead of sugar and while it looks all cake-like and delicious, it actually tastes the exact opposite of what you thought it would taste like so you have no choice but to start from scratch. Watching a business proposal. Pretty good. Getting addicted. Basically, I'm 21 and I should be in my final year of university but I'm actually starting back in first year. Studying nutrition and dietetics. Pursuing my dream career, if you will. Some may think maybe she wasn't smart enough for her old program. I feel so bad for her. She's wasted three years of her life. Oh my god, all the money she wasted on tuition. And I would waste it all again if it would buy me what I know now. Look how beautifully green this is. When we're little, we're told you can be anything you want, anything that makes you happy. As long as it's respected, pays well, socially acceptable, stable, can support a family, my parents don't have to be embarrassed telling our family friends about it, and I have a degree at the end of it. But yeah, anything that makes you happy, exclamation mark, smiley face. No. It turns out anything actually was just a synonym for doctor. Well, this is a little awkward because I think my current job category as in content creator, that literal polar opposite ends of the career spectrum to doctor. I've been going to school for like 18 years. I was the sixth grader who would rather stay in at recess and mark tests. I was and still am that annoying group member that did the entire project and then redid everyone else's parts. I know, I know, no one's perfect, but you best believe I tried so hard to hide that. I changed what I liked, how I looked, how I ate, and my own opinions to hide the too much, the too big, the too soft, because maybe if I pretended long enough and tried hard enough, I could be someone more perfect than myself. Such a beautiful day to be sitting in a classroom. Chemistry time. And it worked! I was this huge green check mark, smart on paper, a resume filled with sports and clubs and student council, and the perfect answer for what are you gonna be, what do you want to do, what's your plan? I was basically all the right things, for all the wrong reasons. So with all this back-to-school energy comes a lot of back-to-school shopping. And I'm doing basically all my back-to-school shopping on ThreadUp. ThreadUp's like this online consignment and thrift store with tons of deals and the coolest pieces. And you can easily find your favorite brands to up to like 90% off their estimated retail prices. When I think of it, ThreadUp has always supported my shopping addiction in a sustainable, eco-friendly, and wallet-friendly way. You can save even more money by using my code SUN to get 35% off your entire purchase and free shipping. Here's a little haul for you all. Sweater vests in school are just the perfect combination. This one's from H&M and has an estimated retail price of $79.99. I got it on ThreadUp for $33.99. Top back to school essential sweaters. This super soft and cozy green one's from Princess Polly. Estimated retail price of $88. And I got it on ThreadUp for $18.99. No jeans ever have fit quite as perfectly. These high-waisted flare jeans are from Gab with an estimated retail price of $99.99. And I got them on thread up for $27.99. I also found this super cute open fort tote bag that has an estimated retail price of $58. And I got it on thread up for $20.99. And it perfectly fits my abnormally massive MacBook. I just can't resist a cute cropped cardigan. This one's from Topshop and has an estimated retail price of $83. And I got it on thread up for $35.99. I am a loyal high-waisted girl, but I can't lie. I love these pants. These are low-rise flare jeans from Madewell. Their estimated retail price is $128. I'm on thread up for $43.99. I've done my fair share of shopping, so now it's your turn to shop away. And remember, you can get 35% off your first sweat up order and free shipping with my code SUN. Now back to the video. Finish my lab. Going to eat my delicious lunch. <laughs> I was just looking for my phone and I realized I'm filming with it. It was a good day. Everything sounds like a review right now. Mm, how are we gonna eat? And then my lab before I finished two chapters. Sometimes I'm literally sitting in class and I think to myself, why am I here? I hate business. Seriously, what am I doing with my life? Is this my passion? And more importantly, what should I eat for lunch? It is now seven. I think I've been standing here for like four hours. If you're good at chemistry, please help. Finally going home. I can't look at another molecule tonight or I might pass away. Oh my god. I did so much chemistry today. I feel like a chemistry god. Not gonna lie. Craving something yummy. Over the years, I felt more and more confused, burnt out, lost, almost like floating and kind of empty. This hits the spot. Even when my life was pretty freaking full of pretty much everything. Good grades, a decent social life, a boyfriend, sports teams, a great family. I was on the right path that would ultimately lead me to a successful, stable, comfortable life. Come on, you can do it. 
my life was so full of pretty much everything, except everything that actually fulfilled me. The size of these strawberries are kind of scary. Before school, I need to be properly fueled before my brain gets attacked by chemistry. The best kind of fuel, oatmeal fuel. No matter how much stuff you fill your life with, things to distract yourself with, hobbies that will take up your time. <sighs> Lots of stairs, lots of stairs. Heart eyes that fill up your comment section, or how jam-packed you can make your Google Calendar. Life can still feel pretty empty. I had like the timetable of my life written out. The exact route, when to finish school, get a job, get married, have children. I called it a plan. I called it knowing what I wanted. But what did I like to do? I had no idea. What hobbies excited me? Studying. What friends accepted me? None, because I was never myself. What did healthy and happy look like on me? Truthfully, I didn't know. I didn't even let myself get to know me. All I knew was that it was easier to say doctor, lawyer, consultant than I don't know yet. It was easier pretending like I knew what the heck was going on, who the heck I was, and admitting I didn't have a clue. Do I do one more molecular shape, dash, dot, line, whatever, diagram? My brain is gonna explode. It's time to take a break, but I can't take a break because I don't have enough time. And I wanna get up at least six hours of sleep tonight. Pray for me. Found some plants, made me happy. Yay! We're done for the day! Time to go home and edit! Hey! Hey! You welcoming me home? Hey, <laughs> Mimi! Bing. I spent a lot of energy trying to create this perfect, smart, small, well-liked version of me. Tucking away any of the parts that didn't quite fit into that version. Letting go of things I love to do, food I love to eat, hobbies that made me feel alive. In order to do more of the things I had to do, I forced myself to take science, love math. I just need this after a long day. Join student council, lose weight, do too many random butt exercises. I don't know, I basically forced myself to stay on this path that was right in so many ways, but just so wrong for me. and yogurt. So I guess we're gonna have both. What would you do if social media didn't exist? If you weren't trying to impress other people? If you knew nobody would judge you? What would you fill your days doing? What would you laugh at? I've been waiting for the bananas to get ready. Who would you spend your time with? How would you move your body and dress and eat? What are the things that would matter most to you compared to what you think matters now? What would you study? What would be your dream career? Would you spend as much money or time dwelling on what you looked like? <sighs> A little quiz. I need some fuel for it. These are spectacular. Mm. Okay, let's, let's freaking do this. How different would your choices be if people didn't care, wouldn't know, weren't judging you behind a screen? Who would you be? I would spend a lot more time making memories with my mom instead of out partying, forgetting about old memories. I'd order that cookie that I've been eyeing at the cafe for the past three years instead of just ordering the coffee. Energy drink. This is definitely not good for you. Sometimes you're so tired, but you just need to keep pushing and keep going. But it works, and it tastes delicious, so. Ready? Let's go to Toronto. I'd read more books, I'd date my best friend, I'd study nutrition and become a dietitian to help people with their relationships with food and body acceptance because when I think about the way I want to help people, that's how. Yeah, let me bite that. I'd order a cocktail with dinner. I would stop buying the two cup size increased push up bras. I would say yes to dessert. I'd ask them out first. Oh, tempting. So good. I wouldn't diet before a vacation. I would hit leg day a lot less. I would eat a lot more croissants than I let myself eat. I'd take a lot more pictures of the people and the world around me instead of my own body. I have tried to control most things in my life, myself, my body, my future, even other people, their perception of me. Some call it being a control freak, obsessive, extra, or you know, some just call it being Linda. Then the most out of control thing happened in 2020, COVID. I guess it was a wake up call, an aggressive one. Like one day we can all be living normal lives and the next a virus takes over the world for three years. Here was finally something I really, really couldn't control. What am I gonna do with my life became, what am I going to do with my today? No matter how many times I have it, it's still so good. What the frick is this weather? It's just gray outside. Perfect day for editing. If social media didn't exist, who would I be? I mean, I guess I wouldn't be able to do this, but I would still do this. Create, learn, connect, talk about mental health, body image, food and fitness, self-love, healing, peanut butter. Try to help people feel less alone. Show them that realness is enough. It's beautiful and study nutrition. That's the truth, truthfully just me. And when I stopped trying to suppress all this with I could nevers, I wasn't enough, so I wouldn't make enough money, diets, boys, excuses. The moment I embraced all this me-ness and started showing more of myself to the world, like literally on YouTube over sharing my thoughts and life story, that's when I realized my worth was so much more than how I was seen or how I looked. It's when the hurtful, petty comments I'd collected over the years became 
meaningless petty comments. My deep-rooted insecurities need for validation to fit in, to be in control. All the negativity, noise, toxic social media stuff stopped mattering as much. And I started to only focus on what really did matter. Me. And whatever I had to offer the world. AKA, you guys. Oh, that was a good workout. Tahini man does something to me. I'm currently can't see this. Binge watching Sophie Jane Miller. A period like a year ago where I watched all her videos and then I right, haven't so been on YouTube for a long time. And now I'm catching up on every single one of her vlogs. I want her accent. Got a bajillion tomatoes. They're so sweet right now. Now like 11. <laughs> I still have not done anything other than edit today. I have a deadline for this video and also two exams coming up, so like I need to just get this done. VVS don't shine like a sunset. Start I didn't end up finishing the video, but I will get up early tomorrow, get it all done so that I can study chemistry. It's been a long freaking day. Good night. Oh wow, I look really good. Yeah, I'm freaking tired. Honestly, waking me up, brushing my teeth, splashing cold water on my face, wakes me up. Even when I feel like death. Contacts also wake me up because once they're in, can't go back to sleep. Eh? You don't need to prove anything. That you can handle it all, that you made the right decision. You don't need to justify anything you do to anyone. You don't have to explain why you decided to switch majors, move cities, cut ties, gain weight, or why you fell off the face of the earth for a little bit. You're allowed to simply just be. Your true worth is never gonna come from anywhere out there or someone else approving of you. It has to come from yourself. I realize now I'm completely, utterly out of control of the way other people see me and think of me. But how other people perceive me is their problem. How much I want to let their perceptions affect me is mine. If every day I feel up with only the foods that are right, healthy, even though I despise celery and bland oats and fake keto bread. I'll live, but come on, I'd be hangry and miserable and completely unfulfilled. Oh yeah, that's in thick, thick. Oh my god, I love this potato. This is the best So if I ever. fill my life with a career oh. that drains me, friends that don't really understand me, a routine that exhausts me, and spend it chasing a body or status or salary and impossible standards while not leaving space or time for the things that make me feel truly oh, like me, so I'll hard. never feel whole. And that's what I've been doing my whole life. Filling my days doing what everyone else told me would make me enough, but never filling up with enough of what I wanted to do. Oh my god, that's so good. Makes you, hungry. you see, I may be freaking exhausted and complaining little Miss Grumpy Pants, but I don't feel empty. I've actually never felt this full. I actually pass away if I have to do one more question, but this will keep me alive. I spent the past decade healing my relationship with food so that I could be full enough to live a full life. But who knew a full life wasn't just about how much food I ate? A healthy relationship with food was only the beginning, the foundation of creating a healthy, full, literally and figuratively, relationship with myself. Oh my god, it's so crazy how one workout can change your entire mood. I'm straight with sucking out all the happy. Oh, and I feel so good now. I started with a hit. I had some anger, frustration I needed to release. That's the power of freaking endorphin. I'm so out of the student mindset. I feel like I haven't been a student since first year, halfway through first year COVID hit. I've actually just been doing exams, studying everything remotely and online. I don't want to expose myself, but that's a very different environment. Oh, we're not gonna think about that because we're gonna go shower and eat our overnight oats that we made yesterday. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's not really empty, there's like a ton left, but it'll just be really peanut buttery. Oh. You wouldn't get it. Not everyone can understand this genius. See you tomorrow. 
Isn't it crazy how like working out changes your energy? Just feeling a little bit like death. Now I feel alive. Finally learning what it feels like to stop hiding. And how freeing it feels. How much easier life is when you stop pretending and start accepting. I freaking hated my program. I felt so trapped in the path I thought I needed to stick to. It's exhausting pleasing everyone to please myself. It took me 21 years to not be embarrassed to be real with myself. That changing my mind didn't make me stupid or wrong. It took me too many years to admit I wanted to study nutrition. I wanted to pursue dietetics without shame or guilt. Sad, but happy. I'm craving some chocolate. To accept my body and all the ways it curved and flattened and jiggled. To delete Facetune and show up on social media authentically as my real self. To sing even if I sound like a mix of a duck and a cow. To just post the dang video even if it may not be the most incredible piece of art ever created. Guys, I'm so awkward. I can't string together sentences sometimes. I can't talk to any male species without stuttering. I do eat too much peanut butter. I'm incredibly imperfect. And that's good enough for me. I am finally a good enough reason to choose me. So I may still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And yes, I'm incredibly tired and need 28 naps at this point. But at the same time, I couldn't feel more alive because I finally found something that's worth being tired for. I'm really glad I found you. I've made a lot of silly mistakes, immature decisions, still doing them every day. I cringe a lot at my younger self and at my today self. Actually, when I had the most awkward interaction with the guy at the gym in the morning, oh my God. In a month, I'll probably cringe at this video to be honest, but isn't that the point? Looking back and thinking, how did I ever think I looked cool with my hair like that? Or I thought half a tablespoon of peanut butter was enough or why my video looks like it was made by someone who's never edited in their lives because it was and because that's just how much you've grown. Exam day. Doing a couple of review questions. You're supposed to try things and really suck at them and put 10,000% of your effort into things and people and passions and mess up terribly. Probably break your own heart and I hope I do. I hope I look back 10 years from now and laugh and shake my head and cringe and be so embarrassed because I don't want to look back 10 years from now and think, wow, I really haven't made any mistakes and I'm still in the same place because that means I stopped living. Okay, Jane's new vlog. Oh, we're like standing in the same position. What's wrong with me? Let's do this. I am lactose intolerant. Mm, it depends on the day. A couple of times I've had the yogurt bowl and like stomach did not like it. This is like an hour and a half exam. Nope, a two and a half hour exam. No, I don't know how long the exam is, but kind of freaking out about the fact that my stomach might potentially not be okay. We'll just have to go to the washroom a million times. It happened once during class and I like, yeah. Well, the exam is kind of creepy. The weather is so nice. I wish I could spend it outside all day. have like public microwaves at your university so we do i brought oatmeal butter protein powder this is like supposed to be oat frozen berries i know so extra oh my god i've been obsessed with these it's not even this is not even sponsored i wish with a Lonnie new fit snack. I'm just obsessed. Taste of the munchies. Mm, let's go home. Oh, something about feeling after exam day. Space in my brain being freed up. But yeah, feeling good, feeling free. Take your time, you have enough. 
start over again and again and again, to keep trying to let go, to create, sleep, learn, understand, you have time. It's yours to fill and to spend the way you want. And trust it, yourself and the timing. Trust that it's all gonna play out, maybe unexpectedly, probably completely oppositely of what you thought, maybe sooner, maybe later. But you are never on the wrong path. And even if it feels like the path is falling apart, crumbling, exploding out of place, what I've learned is that your life is actually probably just falling imperfectly, messily, awkwardly, randomly, whether you like it or not, falling perfectly, in its own way, into place. You ask me if it's so true, probably can call up all our best friends. And remember to check out ThreadUp and use my code SUN for an extra 35% off your first order and free shipping.